We're not going to pretend that CES 2012 was the greatest event this time around, but there were certainly some top-notch kits for technophiles to get enthusiastic about. Two of the biggest themes from the show were OLED TVs and Ultrabooks, so we'll open our Sexy Six with an entry for each. With a veritable slew of Ultrabooks on show, the Dell XPS 13 still stood out. Of course it has the ultra skinny form factor and the Intel chips that make it an Ultrabook, but it also managed to make it both incredibly pretty and powerful as well. We're talking 18mm thick at its fattest point, a 13.3 inch Gorilla Glass screen and Core i5 processor under the sleek hood, along with 4 gigs of RAM and a 128GB solid state drive. In terms of visual impact, you can't really get much more impressive than the 55 inch OLED TVs on show at CES this year, including this beauty from LG. Let's be honest, the chances of the Joneses showing one off in their living room are pretty thin, considering it's going to cost the same as a reasonably sized family car, but it's definitely a beautiful example of the TVs to come in the next few years. This year the camera industry's PMA show was also brought under the CES banner, and perhaps the most interesting of the new snappers was the Fujifilm X-Pro1. It's the company's first compact system camera and brings loads of cool features including a new colour filter array inspired by traditional film cameras. On to mobile devices and we were really impressed by Asus Iconia Tab A700, a Tegra 3 powered tablet running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. With a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor, a gig of RAM and 1080p 10.1 inch screen, this is raising the bar for 2012. It's only a concept, but Razer's Project Fiona gaming tablet certainly turned some heads at the show, even if it was caged behind a box so punters couldn't actually try the kit out for themselves. And last but not least is the Sony Xperia S, which, with or without the Ericsson branding, is an impressive looking phone, bringing dual-core processor, a 12 megapixel camera and a high definition screen.